good morning guys afternoon whenever you are watching this welcome back to 25 feet outdoors and it is officially my first morning of being in the woods it was opening weekend and I can't wait to climb a tree I'm in on my I'm in my truck right now headed to the woods I'll be there in about a minute and we're gonna go get in the tree but welcome to season three at least my season three of 25 feet outdoors probably seen exactly the episode before this but welcome and let's get this thing started and i will talk to y'all when i get in the tree I 
probably, probably about th right at three, which doesn't sound early, but it did get dark to 6.30, so, 6.37, so, but we're not getting down yet, just kind of a mid-morning update, still see that farm running around, but I'll check back with y'all here shortly. I don't know if this is same deer or different deer, but it's been about 45 minutes since I last seen that last one, so. Alright guys, so it's the afternoon, getting ready to go back in there, it is just shy, about 10 minutes short of 3 o'clock, and it don't get dark till right at 7, maybe a little bit before then, um, just getting all ready to look, not too big of a hurry, I got probably a 10 minute walk from where I'm at to where I'm going and um, so we're gonna set up somewhere that I have not been talking to another guy in our club and he's been running cameras too and we got the same buck on cameras big six point and I'll show you a picture he's big six point and he's working right back in here off this bottom and crawl uh, and crossing that bottom and working this is bottom he travels up and down of it pretty frequently so we're at to get in there and get set up on him hopefully he'll come through i've got a camera probably halfway between here and there and i've got pictures of him during the day but i think i'm a, that camera is a little bit too far outside of his zone so we're gonna try to go get set up on him. Practicing scent control just so y'all can actually see it. This is what I do. I spray down with scent killer. I'm not, we're not sponsored by any of this so just whatever I find that's got a good deal whether it be code blue or, or, or I think code blue but anyway any just ozone scent free scent code and then the most important thing that I do after I spray down is most important thing is native sense this is the deception and it's just this dough urine and I spray it on my boots just kind of that's hard to do this like that I'm gonna do it and what that does, it covers my scent walking in. Makes me just smell like a deer more than anything. And then I'll keep this in my pocket as I'm walking in. Refresh it probably once as I'm going in. Just a couple of sprays. Because it, some of it will wear off more seriously faster it wears off. And that's what I do for scent control. Um, anyway, if you want to try out Native Sense, go to this Native Sense LLC, LLC. I think it's, it's Native Sense LLC dot com. Uh, use promo code 25 high 25 the 25 and then high all capital, I think, and um, I'll bring it up right here and get you a discount on your native sense 100 percent worth a try they're from alabama farm fresh and um yeah i'll talk more about that later but we're gonna go get in the woods what to describe this spot a little bit better 
is a V, a big V. So behind me is about 150, 200 yards away. I've got a camera out and there's some corn out. And that's where I've found the bucket. Pictures of him, not far from here. But I know that he is working through this V. So it starts out really wide as far as bottoms. There's a bottom right here and a bottom right here. And it starts out wide up there. And then it slowly works itself toward a V. Now there's a ticket in the middle of the V, which is right in front of me. So it instantly makes the deer, whether or not they're coming from in front of me or behind me, kind of work toward they can either go through the bottom or they can work toward me to where there's a, a small or easier open in the thicket in between those two bottoms. So I have this big funnel right now because deer are lazy creatures. So they're liable to go through this more than they are the thick stuff. Hi right, guys, so I told you I'd meet you in my truck, but I'm back at my camp and I wanted to introduce y'all to somebody because he's about to come become really relevant. So you got Zach over here and our buddy Mr. Kurt Manning. He's a what's going on? He's a good buddy of ours and he's about to start doing some filming for us. And um so you gotta stay tuned because his video is coming soon. But that's gonna pretty much wrap up my video, Zach, you're not even gonna say hi. He like I guess not. I got I already, he, he doesn't I love y'all guys. Films, so I'm good. <laughs> I didn't kill anything yet, but But um anyway, so stay tuned for his video and um I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna hunt in the morning. Tomorrow's Sunday, so I'm hunting pretty much all day tomorrow and um that's gonna be a new video. Oh, see, to live twenty five feet high. We'll see you next time. See you later.